Hey everyone, it's Dominique with Soap Therapy again, and I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I package my soaps. So, a lot of people have different ways of packaging their soaps. Some people actually just have them out there naked, and in fact, I do have at least one bar every, t every time I go to the market, I'll have one bar out just so people can get a feel of how it feels, what it smells like, and you know, the full look. So if it has a design, you can see both sides and get an idea of what the design in your soap will be like. Otherwise, it's packaged. My packaging style is shrink wrap. Um, shrink wrap, I find, is the best way to keep people's hands, like, um, you know, you don't know who they are, you don't know if they've washed their hands, things like that, off your soap. Uh, don't mind, my hands are clean. Uh, I always wash my hands before I touch any of your products, but the best way for me to handle any type of this slippery plastic, I have to have my hands out and open. I won't be able to get a grip on it with gloves. So I found. Um, but typically I use the shrink wrap. I get my shrink wrap um, bags from Paper Mart. Paper Mart has a great deal on them, but in order to put my soap in them, I do cut off the edge. The reason I do that, like this, cut it off. The reason I do this is because cold processed soap is best kept in an area where it is able to breathe. So by cutting off the baggy end of it, the closed sealed end, I have two exposed areas where the soap is open on each side once shrink wrapped and you know the customer is able to smell the soap on the side. Okay. My labeling, I typically use cardstock labels. So I print these here and I have all my information on the on my cardstock. It's my ingredients, a bit about the soap, warning labels, my contact information. I usually just put my my location and my website. On my website, you can find all of my phone numbers, any other contact, my email, um, all of my uh, uh, what do you call them? All of my my usernames, as in Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. I am on all of that, as you can tell. <laughs> YouTube. Hi guys. And it just has all the information about the soap and it's very easy and convenient for me to do it this way. So let's go ahead and get started. I take the soap, I take a cigar band, and I typically pick a side that I find most appealing and then I wrap the cigar, cigar band around. Just like this. Now, with the cigar, cigar band, because it's made of the thick cardstock that I use, after doing this, I take it off the soap and I put in my creases. The creases allow for a more uniform and clean look. Okay. So now my, my cigar, cigar band is nice and creased. You can see it stands up on its own. So it's going to stand up very well inside of the wrapping. Okay, so again, I wrap it around, pick the side that I like the most. Wrap it around the bar. Take a piece of clear tape. You don't want to use invisible tape. Invisible tape is actually not quite invisible. Um, the only thing it's invisible on is, I guess, white paper. But clear tape works best in this incidence here. And I just tape the edge down. See? And there we have it. The next step is to actually get it in the bag. Now with this, you have to be very, very careful. You could use um, a hair dryer, but it would take a long time. So I actually use a heat gun. This heat gun gets pretty hot, so if you have heat gloves, you can use the, use those with it, but I tend to not worry about it. <laughs> I just stick my soap right in. Make sure it's in an area that I like, and I flip it down on its back. Okay, so first thing first, I turn on my heat gun, wait for it to heat up a little bit, and I'm not going to stick my hand in it anymore, but not after this. <laughs> this is hot enough. And get it going. I do the sides or the top and the bottom. Then the sides all around. Then I take my heat gun and 
I go across it here, flatten it out, go across again on the side, flatten it out. Doing so keeps the little corners from being sticky and poking through any wrapping or if you're shipping it, it keeps it from um, being sharp, any sharp edges. And then I do the back and the front. And I do these repeatedly until I get it to the tightness I like. I like doing it till there's you see no wrinkles. Now, with this, you have to be very careful. You don't want to get too close because getting too close will put a hole in your packaging. Then again, little holes don't really matter. You just know that it's aired out more. <laughs> This process gets a lot faster as the heat gun heats up. And there you have it. Whoop, look, get it a little hotter. Go over the sides again if it's not as flat as you like. And there you have it. All packaged and ready for the market. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you, hear from you guys again. Leave comments guys. <laughs> Thank you.